Hey guys, welcome to game six, potentially the deciding match between DeWalt and Zeke in this set. Zeke starting in the bottom right hand corner as the purple Zerg bottom left hand corner. We have DeWalt as the green Protoss. This again on Fighting Spirit, Fighting Spirit Mania. And it seems like DeWalt, after having a bit of a rocky start here in some of these sets, has managed to both psychologically and in the win count take control. First of all, we just had all of these zealot timings. Even in the last, like looking at that, most of the time when there's like a nine hatch opener, I've seen many other lesser Protoss, and I will say lesser, just because it's DeWalt, just fold, absolutely get wrecked by overwhelming amounts of Zerglings. Somehow DeWalt manages to get his base up, manages to stymie Zeke's economy, and push a Nexus before Forge and a bunch of other stuff. It's like, how? How did he just, it's incredible. Probe making its way, it looks like it is gonna get first scout. However, spawning pool start. Looks like it was an overpool build from Zeke. Nice, safe, median build this time around. Zeke also showing uh, DeWalt feeling spicy, getting a little bit of those zaps in while he can. Looks like he is delaying. So he wants to go for Nexus first. Potentially. Is, okay, never mind. Taking back. I was going to say, like, might be a little bit risky. So dropping the forge somewhat late. The Overlord now walks in. It's going to see the Forge. Spawning Pool is going to finish. I think that is going to provoke six Zerglings to try to force the two cannons before Nexus. Which, this will be a lesson for me in timing. Never mind, he's just going to go ahead and produce two Zerglings and a drone. And here's the thing, from DeWalt's perspective, he's not sure whether these are Zerglings or not. Like, he sometimes can think, okay, this is going to be two drones and a Zergling. But he's got to put down that cannon just in case. So cannon, preventatively, before Nexus. Ne now plopping that Nexus down. Yeah, because one, one sufficient, usually. You can get that gateway in front. So Zeke able to kind of do the rare reverse economic force. Zerglings moving out. Drone already moving to go ahead and grab that 9 o'clock location. It must be a little bit of a relief from Zeke to not be going up against a gateway first opener just considering how much trouble he's had dealing with it up to this stage. And I'm almost wondering if DeWalt is looking at this as like practice against Zeke at this stage. He's like, you know what? I'm going to try a forge opener this time. Since this is like a semi-tournament situation, just to see how it plays out overall. Probe taking a lot of damage. The Zergling's doing a good job of getting on top of it. Still wants to go ahead and check out that 9 o'clock location. Gateway up in the way. Zergling's on the hunt. The Overlord spotted. But I, you can see what DeWalt does is, okay, so the Overlord, uh, while well, Zeke's distracted, looking for this, uh, trying to micro, did he see this probe sneak out? And because these Zerglings are not moving locations, I'm going to assume no. So right now, Zeke's like, ha, got the scout. I can maybe go ahead and drop a Hydralist in. It looks like he is going to go for three hatch Muta instead. But this probe, while the distraction was there, still able to move out. DeWalt just incredibly he just really knows those timings see and that's the other thing wow moved up didn't even reveal that his probe was there because the hatchery didn't finish and is he going to go ahead and reveal the probe here looks like he is going to opt to do so but right now Zeke's not sure whether that nine o'clock base has been scouted or not and here the zerglings going ahead and peeling back to go ahead and try to eliminate that scout DeWalt, yeah, getting all the information. He's going to go ahead and see the nine drones and the additional drones being pumped. Wondering if that is going to provoke these three zealots to move out. Gateway popping down. Zeke did have that overlord in position. He's got two overlords nearby. But DeWalt sees that it is, in fact, a three hatch opener. More drones going to saturate the 9 o'clock base. Pretty well saturated thus far across the board. And this probe just has like, yeah, nice. Uh, th these are like groupies or glings right here. They're like, we're a fan too. Just great scouting. 
Three cells initially marching out, but upon seeing that wall of Zerglings coming this direction, is opting to go ahead and stay at home base. Plus one weapons being upgraded. Looks like that probe was taken out. The Zergling is going to try to hold the ramp along this corner. Kind of microing back and forth. Fourth hatchery. Plopping down. Plus one weapons being upgraded. Are we going to see a sec the double gateway... The, uh, sorry, the double stargate build once again? Potentially, because we do have that second assimilator alongside. But at the very least, we are going to see plus one weapons with these Corsair to make them all the more deadly. The Overlord's trying to flee by some time. Spire is a ways off finishing, so at least one of these Overlords likely to get taken out. That is going to put Zeki into the red. Six hatchery plopping, so this is going to be and a Hydro Sten behind this, so it's going to be six hatch Muta with a potential Hydralisk support behind it. Usually the way people have been playing it these days is just getting those initial Scourge into the air to try to keep air control. Second Corsair was trying to hunt for this Overlord that actually switched directions, so Ziki at least getting a bit of reprieve there. Still no air defense, but DeWalt not hanging around to have those Scourge spawn right on top of him. Going to go ahead and regroup, come back to the main. Planning defensive cannons just in case, also getting that Citadel of the Dune. But right now, the job is done. Got a lot of scouting information, is doing great with his economy, plus one weapons online. And he's going to go ahead and do the off timing march before Zelt Leg Speed is even started against these Zerglings on the front. Try to force. So Sunken Colony is being built, but it's like, okay, you built a lot of Scourge, that's not going to help you against my Zealots. The Zergling's trying to find... That was a nice play. The nice micro by Zeki. Finding the corner. Also harassing on that back edge. While the Zealots are getting strung out, he's going to go... He's doing a great job of pocketing and engaging them wholesale. It's also creating a bit of delay. The Zealots now marching in. There's a decent SimCity. The Zergling's again looking for opportunities to spring. He's almost using these Zerglings like you would use Mutalisks. To try to find the strays like this and uh, jump on top of them. That's... The Corsair count's significant. Three gateways behind this. Four Corsairs plus one weapons has finished. Level one armor coming online. Zelt leg speed not that far from finishing. So in a minute, DeWalt can go ahead and march right back out. But Zeki, this time... Supply cap right this second. I don't think... Well, I'll see if it's... For how long it's going to be. Is getting a lot of Hydralisks behind this. But we've seen DeWalt... Oh, yeah. And supply cap themselves, so... This is a bad timing for that supply cap as well because he really, really needs those Hydralisks because they're going to be the full defense against both the Zealots and the Corsairs. A Dark Templar being produced as well. And Ziki moving out, unfortunately. Like, this is the moment where he actually needs to kind of be bundling up. Looks like he, what he's trying to do is he's trying to do his classic thing where he's going to pocket this army to the south. Okay, is going to be able to maybe get a few of these Corsairs. Loses the... A Corsair for an Overlord is not a bad exchange right there. The Zelts are marching out free. DeWalt does have... and you can. This is what I love about this Corsair opener, by the way. Or, or taking map control. Is you can just look at the lack of vision that Zeki has right now. He has no idea where this army is. He doesn't know it's... He's being forced to send out Zerglings to scout, which is just forcing more APM. The Corsair is moving up, trying to get additional damage. Shredding that Overlord there. So getting another quick kill. And Zeki... If you just look at the supply counts, way behind DeWalt. DeWalt moving up the Zelts to the 9 o'clock location. Again, just clearing out, and I love it. Moving across, clearing out vision across all corners of the map. Looks like Scourge are just barely going to miss this Corsair fleet. Trying to find a cutoff angle. That's seven Corsairs in the air. The one downside of having this many Corsairs is when you have this many Corsairs, you need to get something accomplished with them. But I think DeWalt has already done that. High Templar joining this attack force. The Hydralis being backed up. One Hydra bravely blockading. It looks like not even getting attacked. Yeah, turning around, trying to pick off the High Templar. A great side storm right there. Spreading through. Not able to get the second High Templar. Never mind getting it on the turnaround. But this is still... Yeah, just trying to peck away at this army on a stutter step. A decent SimCity at the natural expansion. 
Now can Ziki defend? The Corsair is peeling off, looking for targets. Want to try to spread these Hydralisks out. A nice defense. Yeah, the Zealots, not distractions right there to engage. But again, Dewalt with a large army has map control. Ziki, however, has managed to pump up that drone count considerably. A Lurker now morphing to go ahead and blockade at this 3 o'clock location. So Ziki in a much better position now. And the Scourge once again sneaking out this time outside of DeWalt's vision. So sweeping across, though, not quite able to, to find the Corsair and land. If the Corsair engaged, though, uh, oftentimes this happens. It looks like they managed to land one. But a lot of them are getting obliterated. Another Overlord getting taken out. Once again, putting Ziki in the red. But Ziki now moving out with the Hydralisks. The Corsair is away from that defensive Zealot attack force. It looks like the Zealot's kind of regrouping. A shuttle being built. No observatory as of yet. There's the observatory morphing in. A bunch of gateways behind this. The Zealot's marching out. I'm wondering if this is, yeah, going to be Dark Templar scooped in. And this is happening... Maybe could take out the Spire at the main. Overlords and Hydralisks. So, still trying to get some damage done. Oh, are they going to get these Overlords? Oops, accidentally attacking his own Extractor. And look at the timing here. I didn't even notice on the minimap Ziki moving up units to go ahead and try to grab this, but DeWalt anticipating it. That's going to be a, a canceled hatchery. Lurkers, I like that. Lurker egg planting, but we have a drop of Dark Templar in the main, and this is DeWalt. It's always two-pronged. There's always multiple things happening on the map, and it looks like Ziki did not realize it because he's having to engage this attack at the 3 o'clock. So while he's distracted across the map, he's losing all of his drones at his main. He's going to end up losing his Spire. He might be able to take out a handful of Zealots here, but definitely playing in DeWalt's favor. This might provoke an all-in counterattack, but I think DeWalt has enough on the ground where he's going to be able to fight that without too much trouble. The Dark Templar still, yeah, unassailed. They've got to assume Ziki knows now what's up. A bunch of lurkers peeling forward. Yeah, this is a I'm going to try to kill you now because that's my option to win this match maneuver, I believe. But a lot of Sidestorm landing. The Hydralis Force getting very thinned. Corsair is currently remaining silent. To the north, because it is just a survival situation at this stage. Ziki pushing forward. DeWalt looking to engage ramp side. Three cannons morphing behind this. Yeah, trying to buy some time. The Hydra is poking away at this. Ziki's still trying to establish that fourth. The Dark Templar getting scooped right back up. It looks like... Wow. And that's what I missed in the midst of this. The Dark Templar... How many kills, first of all? 19 kills between them. But still able to get right back out. Dewalt now trying to grab his fourth. Ziki's still trying to push into this. Ziki's still trying to make a match of this. And actually might be able to force a cancellation here. The Hydra is punishing. They do have level 2 weapons. Trying to punish this Nexus. DeWalt, and I take it back. I thought DeWalt had this all but one with that Dark Templar attack. But Ziki, if he can force this Nexus to get cancelled. Forces the cancellation. Now he's got a 4th base up and running. He's refilled his supply rapidly. He's back up to 48 drones somehow. He lost his Spire. He lost his Spawning Pool. He still has his Hydralis Den. Curious if he's going to rebuild those. Where he's going to rebuild those or if he's going to rebuild those. Corsair nearby to go ahead and reassault. And Dewalt's going to go for another two-pronged attack upon that delayed third. He wants to go ahead and attack the upper right-hand corner. Try to wipe out this base while simultaneously doing a DT Corsair Assault at the main. Drone's going to get caught in transfer. I don't know that there's enough for Ziki to defend. He's got Hydralisks that are somewhat out of position. It looks like they're trying to move up. The Dark Templar still able to escape. How? Dewalt all of a sudden up 45 supply despite all the shenanigans absolutely everywhere. Great Psy Storm! Ziki 
walking into the bulk of that. Kind of like a one of those cartoon moments where the whoop 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 need to turn around. Next is coming online for DeWalt. He's got level 2 weapons, level 1 armor. Compared to the level 2 spines for Zeki. Corsair's finally getting taken care of, but there's still Dark Templar out on the map. DeWalt repositioning mid map. Still wants to make pushes to this upper right and quarter. A soft defense for Zeki on the forward front. But this can be Danger Town for DeWalt. If he overextends with this army, what oftentimes Zeke will do is he'll wrap around and pin an army in position, wipe it out, and get map control from there. A lot of Hydralisks morphing. Lurkers morphing on the low ground. A little bit of movement of Hydras. I think trying to find those High Templar behind all of this. One egg being forced canceled, and we'll see if there's any movement for the north. That will be the big indicator. Yeah, now the units swing down from the north that DeWalt's committed. The Zealot's getting cleaned up summarily. The Lurker's sweeping in from behind. They are fairly bunched up. This is great Psy Storm to clean those up. More reinforcements from the north, but some Psy Storms to engage that. Also, drones in transfer. I think that might be a miss rally rather than a transfer. And it looks like this army might get pinned in and cleaned up. Reinforcements marching across, maybe to try to save some units on an exit. A lot of observers overhead. The Dark Templar are being unloaded to the north to go ahead and try to attack from the rear. There is a spore colony here. There are Hydralists that are morphing, but the drone line is still vulnerable, and it doesn't look like Zeki sees it once again. So DTs, man, these DTs have been heroes. More Psy Storm. So DeWalt with reinforcements able to clear out the attack force. Zeki down to 70 supply. DeWalt with the lead, and he's grabbing a fourth. Finally, the Dark Templar getting cleared out. I think that was... Man, so there's going to be statues to those two Dark Templar. Dark Blade Twins. They're going to be tails, I tell you. And the shuttle's still alive to go ahead and provide additional assault. Zeki trying to reburrow. He needs to get reinforcements to help defend that upper right-hand base. Hydralisks look like on a miss rally. Getting wiped out. There are also Zelts trailing. The shuttle just trying to provide a distraction there to that corner. The Hydralis now grouping up, but the Hydralis could power down that hatchery fairly rapidly. And just as the Hydralis are getting in there, the Zealots are right on top to provide distraction. And I think the Dragoons are still going to stand. More Hydralis were produced from the north, but this looks like enough plus the reinforcements that are moving up from DeWalt that he's going to be able to punch through and take out that fourth, and that should be game. Zeke all of a sudden down to half the supply of DeWalt. Yeah, these Dragoons, they, they are not going to be stopped. So this hatchery is going to get wiped out. There's GG, the capital GG. That was a great game indeed. Zeke showing some fight, but the set goes to DeWalt. He is now up. Two sets to nil. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.